Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to activate the Wagon Tech solar LED floodlights and the remote control that comes with them. The Wagon Tech solar LED floodlights have these shared features. They are all remote controlled, completely maintenance free, and easy to install. First, let's take a look at how to activate the light. Locate the power button on the bottom of the light. On this solar LED floodlight 1000, the power button can be seen here. Press and hold the button for 3 seconds to activate the light. The light will turn on for 5 seconds and is now ready to use. There is also a red LED indicator that lets you know when the light is on. For the other models, the power switch is located here and is also accessed with included pin tool. Insert the pin tool in the hole to activate the on-off switch. As a note, the light will not turn on during the day if light is detected by the solar panel. Simply cover the solar panel if you want to program the light during daylight hours. Now that you've activated the light, let's go over different light functions and how to use the remote control. The remote control allows you to control and program the light settings. There are three main modes the light can be operated in. Motion detection mode, this is the basic mode you will likely use on a day-to-day -day basis. Brightness override mode and timer mode. The last two modes are advanced modes which will allow you to customize the light's operation. Once the light is activated, press the on or off switch to remotely turn the light on or off. This is the default setting for the light. Once activated, the light will stay on for a constant 10% brightness. When the motion sensor detects movement, the light will increase to 100% brightness. 30 seconds after movement ceases, the light will return to the 10% brightness level. The light will automatically turn off during the day and come back on at night using the previous night setting. The M2 setting is similar to the M1 setting, except the constant on brightness is 30% instead of the M1's 10%. If you just want to get it up and running, then M1 and M2 settings are all you'll need. Brightness override mode turns off the motion sensor to provide a constant brightness throughout the night. To use it, press any one of the four brightness control buttons. You can choose between 10%, 30%, 60%, or 100%. The light will then remain constantly on at the selected brightness level until dawn. Once it gets dark again, the light will resume the previous night settings unless the battery runs out. Then the default M1 setting will resume. Timer mode is used to set a time limit on the brightness override mode. For example, T1, or timer 1 hour, will place the light at your desired brightness level for 1 hour, after which it will default back to the motion detection M1 mode. Let's say that you're expecting friend over in the next hour and you want to illuminate your driveway for them. Simply press the desired brightness setting, we'll select 60% for our example, and then press the T1 button. The light is now set to remain at 60% brightness for the next hour. After that, it will default back to the motion detecting M1 mode. You can also set the timer between 5 and 8 hours by opening the battery compartment and turn the remote switch button into the on position. This will change the T1 button from a 1 hour timer to a 5 hour timer. Think of it as T5, 5 hours. T2 will now be T6, 6 hours, and so on. To cancel the timer mode, long press one of the timer buttons for 2 seconds. The indicator LED on the light will flash 3 times. The light will stay in the last mode until a new mode is selected. If the battery runs out, the light will default to the M1 setting. The three night runtime is based on the light operating in the M1 motion detecting mode. Runtimes will vary when operated in other modes. Thank you for watching our solar LED floodlight tutorial. We hope this has answered all of your questions. Feel free to leave a comment below or email us at customer service at wagon.com. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.